Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're here on the island, and to get things started off, we're going to be unlocking flak armor, as well as an Argentavis saddle, as soon as we've now reached the required level. And uh, we'll quickly craft some flak armor, it will use most of our materials, however, uh, we should have uh, just enough to uh, craft a full set. Uh, we will definitely need to do a metal run soon, and then uh, we'll need to repaint our armor. I do have some paints set aside for uh, just that purpose, so we'll quickly paint our armor. And uh, I just realized that we're actually not going to be need to use the flak helmet, because our Chitin Mastercraft helmet already has a better armor rating, so we're just going to stick with that, and then we'll use the rest of the flak. I think it looks quite, uh, quite nice, so... Uh, anyway, to our main adventure today, our objective is to tame an Argentavis, now that we can uh, equip the, uh, or unlock the saddle, I mean. And uh, the method I'd like to use today is a trapping method uh, using dinosaur gates. Uh, so we'll try and lure the Argentavis in and get him stuck in the trap, and then we should be able to knock him out just fine. Uh, we need to be able to fit through one of the gaps in the gate, and as long as we can fit through... Uh, one set of the gates, we should be fine. These other two gates don't really matter all as much as that uh, that first one, as long as we can uh, slip through if needs be. Uh, these other two can be uh, as close as we can get them. Uh, we do want room for the RG to fit inside, and it looks like we can't fit through these other two gaps. However, this first one should just be big enough for us, but not an RG. Uh, so now we just need to throw on the gates and leave the, uh, the front gate open. Uh, that's the direction we'll be leading him in, and... Uh, should be set up to uh, trap an Argentavis, uh, if we do everything correctly, that is. Uh, so we're going to head over to the mountain and uh, search for the best level we can find and uh, lure him back to the beach where we will attempt to tame him. Uh, there is a uh, level 112 Sabertooth over here. It's not exactly what we're looking for, however, uh, it would be a good idea to keep this location in mind as I wouldn't mind uh, finding a uh, replacement Sabertooth for Sam. And uh, a 112 would definitely be an improvement. Uh, however, I did just find this level 120 Argentavis. And uh, so far, after circling the majority of the mountain, uh, that is definitely the best level I've come across, so I think we are going to stick with them today. Uh, there's a couple of other RGs that uh, aren't terrible levels, however, I think we are going to uh, stick with our, uh, our 120 here. Uh, we will quickly check everyone else, just in case there is a uh, an exceptionally high level, like a 150, but it looks like 120 is going to be our best Argentavis for the day. Uh, so we'll do our best to get him aggressive and uh, following Steve. As soon as we uh, rest and regain our stamina, we can have this guy. If we can get his attention, this Argentavis, follow us back to the trap. Uh, I think Steve should be able to take the uh, attacks from this RG just fine. As long as we uh, uh, out, uh, outpace him uh, a bit, he shouldn't be able to uh, inflict too much damage, I would hope. Uh, we do almost have him down to the trap. Now this is the crucial part. We need to try and line it up, and then, uh, seeing as uh, Pteranodons are faster than uh, Argentavis is, we can hurry and fly Steve around the, the back of the trap, and then uh, lead the Argentavis in... It uh, looks like he is aggroed on us. Uh, okay, now we need to close the gate. It uh, looks like he hit us out of the way. Uh, I don't think he's in the trap. It's, no, he's on top of the trap. And I think Steve has also started to attack the Urgent Davis. So let's see if we can get Steve on passive and fly him back around here. Uh, I think, is the Urgent Davis on us? Uh, yes, let's, we might have to recircle the trap to get him lined up again. I'm not sure how good his uh, turn radius is. He might... Yeah, I think we are going to need to pull him away and then uh, come back. Uh, looks like he's busy trying to eat Steve. Uh, that could be bad. I, I'm sure Steve can take the, the hits. He has uh, battled a Tyrannosaur before, so... Uh, Steve is uh, tried and true, I suppose, but uh, still don't want him to... Uh, get two damage from this Argentavis. Uh, let's fly Steve back around the, the rear of the trap and see if we can get this Argentavis lined up uh, to fly right in. Uh, looks like he's going to fly in on his own for us. Uh, I guess that's uh, an acceptable outcome. Uh, he should be trapped in there. I don't think he can fit through any of these gaps. So uh, Now just we have to go through the process of uh, tranking him, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. Seeing as he's trapped, he won't be able to uh, fly away and uh, we can trank him at our leisure now. 
Uh, okay. I don't think I hit him. I think he should be fine. Uh, I did shoot after he had already went unconscious. However, I don't think the, the shot actually hit him. Uh, so we'll see once we feed him. Uh, if we did damage him, we can always wake him up and then uh, trank him again. However, I think we should probably do our best to find some prime meat. I believe stegosaurs do uh, give prime meat if you harvest them. So uh, we're going to take this stego out and uh, hopefully we get enough prime meat to uh, feed our archie. I think, yeah, he's not doing too much damage. Steve should be fine to uh, kill this uh, stego. I thought his tail swipe would do more damage, but it looks like he was more uh, trying to uh, stick us with his spikes. All right, let's uh, harvest prime meat. Uh, yes, we do get prime meat from a stego, so uh, we can now feed this uh, 120 RG some uh, prime meat, and hopefully he'll tame out to a uh, a nice level. Probably our new highest level. I'm not. I don't think we've gotten anything above. Uh, uh, I think our raptor was 108, so this will be our new highest level dinosaur. Um, I'm going to name him Swoop. That's normally what I name my first RG, so uh, we're going to go with that for this uh, this Argentavis, and uh, we can settle them now and uh, try out the, the features that come along with an Argentavis. Uh, first things first, we should uh, head home and take Steve uh, back to the base. And uh, then maybe we'll see about taming that saber tooth up on the mountain. I wouldn't mind uh, getting a replacement for Sam, and uh, level 120 would do just fine. So let's collect some stone, and uh, I'd like to build a, uh, a taming pen. And uh, I think stone should be fine. I'm I'm almost certain that saber tooths can't damage stone. Uh, most things can't. Uh, so we should be fine to use uh, stone as the uh, the material of choice for this. Uh, little taming pen here. Uh, let's also put uh, Rolo not to follow us so he doesn't uh, get in the way. Uh, the crucial part of placing these fent foundations which uh, can be difficult uh, if they don't want to snap properly. However, it looks like that should be straight. I would hope so. Uh, I believe we've got them down straight as can be. However, we will see once we place down the, uh, uh, the door frames. So far, I believe this should be straight. They did line up, so uh, it should be uh, fine here. And we're going to do too high. Uh, we can always raise it up if needs be, uh, depending on what we're trying to tame. However, this should work for the time being. I believe our saber tooth is in this pack. Yes, 112. Uh, it is a female, and I believe Sam is also a female, so we won't be able to breed saber tooths, but uh, we can at least have a, uh, a decent replacement for Sam for the time being. Uh, the nice thing about an Argentavis is that we can uh, pick up larger creatures, and they also have a lot more health, so uh, even though the Sabretooth was able to uh, gnaw on our uh, our talons while we were carrying him, uh, the Argentavis can definitely take a lot more damage than, uh, say, Steve could. Uh, really, this is the crucial part right here, is not hitting him in the face like that. That does uh, a lot of damage. We might actually want to feed him. Uh, we could kill this Pteranodon and then feed him the Pteranodon. And that way it should heal him. That's uh, probably the best thing to do here. Uh, he did take a, a pretty nasty face shot from our crossbow, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and heal him before we can uh, continue tranquilizing him. Now let's see if we can get him to eat this Dilophosaur as well. Just to heal him enough where I'd be confident he wouldn't uh, wouldn't die if we uh, did accidentally hit him in the face uh, again. It looks like he, he should be fine. I don't see too much blood on him. Uh, we are still going to try and hit him in the leg, though, just to be safe. Uh, I don't want to take any any risks killing the Sabretooth. And it looks like he is unconscious. So we will go grab some prime meat for this guy and uh, tame them up. Uh, he shouldn't require too much. We will also put a little regular raw meat in there, uh, just in case he goes through that. But uh, looks like he tamed up just fine on the prime meat. Um, I did go out and collect the resources so we can craft a saddle for our new saber tooth. And uh, I think we're going to name them Lightsaber. I wasn't sure what we'd name them. However, I think this is a, a decent name for a saber tooth. However, we are going to leave the video off here. So I hope everyone did enjoy. I definitely had fun, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.